It has happened. General Salushny was replaced as commander in chief of the Ukrainian armed forces. This is not much of a surprise. It was basically expected for several weeks already. In this video, we are going to talk about why has it happened? Who is the guy replacing him? And what can we expect as a change in tactics in the war in Ukraine from the Ukrainian side because of that change in personnel? So General Valery Salushny was replaced. His replacement is uh, Je Colonel General Oleksandr Sirsky. Uh, the reasons are obviously not fully clear. There is not a publication where the president of Ukraine, Zelensky, says in every detail this was and because of this and because of this. He basically said that there's a renewal necessary, a uh, fresh blood and things like this, but uh, that is not a full explanation. One guess is that potential political aspirations of the um, previous commander-in-chief Salushny was a reason for that, that he was expected to possibly run in a future presidential campaign. And actually his agree, his, his, um, the rate of Ukrainians pr um, liking Salushny is significantly higher than those uh, preferring, preferring Zelensky in the same time. So if the two of them would run for president at the same time, Salushny would probably have a real chance. This is obviously not clear whether this was just to get rid of a potential um, competitor, whether whether in this case Zelensky removed Salushny to remove him from his spotlight in the public. Um, there are other expectations which are at least as likely. Obviously, it can be a, a combination of all of it as well. It's likely that the defensive stand of Salushny played a role, for instance, in the counteroffensive, where he was rather hesitant. Another issue is probably the conflict between Salushny and Zelensky about the mobilization of additional 500,000 men. Zelensky is refused it. He said that f to have 500,000 men, he needs good explanations and he needs 2 million additional jobs to even be able to pay for those 500,000 additional men. Men, whereas Salushny is said to have demanded those that they are necessary for the future of the war and to allow for rotations. Uh, in the in this context, we need to understand that conflicts between politics and military are absolutely normal. Nothing about this is special, and it kind of uh, is necessary in the same way as military and politics obviously view a war from a different spotlight. And we need to quote the famous quote from Karl von Clausewitz uh, that. Uh, War is politics with other means. So in the end, it all goes back to politics. War isn't fought for war itself. It's fought for political gains. And politics needs and wants uh, successes. They want to be able to show something for in a war that is dragging on. Whereas the military aims to preserve its forces to be able to be to remain a capable fighting force and at some point those two opinions can clash with with each other Zelensky basically needs successes both at the home front to explain to his people why they should keep suffering to show them some progress that yeah we liberated the next town we are continuing now we are pushing the russians back and at the same time he probably needs the support for the international support he needs the successes for the international support so the west doesn't give up on him doesn't say okay the best thing we can do is probably freezing the front line create a fast ceasefire whereas Zelensky is uh, insisting on a liberation of all of ukraine's territory including the crimea and for that he needs Western aid and Western aid, it will only come if he can present that he'll actually do something with that aid and it's not going to just be a bottomless barrel. Military at the same time, as said, uh, as a commander, you can't waste forces that you have no idea how you're going to replace them in the future for a political gain to capture a city, a town that will then be good in the spotlights, but has no deeper strategic meaning. And that means the, the conflict between the two of them is fairly normal, is a common occurrence in longer wars, especially longer wars that are increasingly troublesome, that military and politics are clashing is normal. And in this case, it likely is the main reason why, why Zelensky has deposed uh, Salushny. Now let's talk about the guy who is replacing him. We're talking about uh, General, Colonel General Oleksandr Sirsky. He is being said to be an ethnic Russian. He's born in Russia. He was trained in Russia. 
He's commanding the Ukraine's uh, ground forces since 2019, though. And uh, according to the, the reports from Ukraine, he's been understood to be more of a soldier of a Soviet type. So um, a different different soldier than Salushny, who said in the past that uh, he's insisting to move Ukraine's army away from the Soviet system because a small Soviet army can't be beat a big Soviet army. In contrary de to that, uh, Silsky is expected to be a more Soviet kind of officer. That makes him less popular among the soldiers, as Silsky is uh, considered to be less careful with the lives of his soldiers, whereas Salushny was said and gave the impression towards his soldiers that he really husbands their lives, that he only risks them when it's necessary, and thus obviously a commander of your life, somebody who commands you, and thus your life is more popular with you if he makes the impression that he wants to keep your life and not is not going to throw you away. This is going to not be pleasant, but that doesn't mean we should expect a mutiny inside of Ukraine anytime soon. Silsky, though, is, a, is definitely a competent general. He has commanded the defense of Kiev. That was the fir Ukraine's first victory that basically encouraged them and showed them and the world that they can actually win against Russia and thus should not be under, as understated. It's definitely one of the most important uh, battles for Ukraine in this whole war. And at the same time, he was the guy responsible for the recapture of Kharkiv Oblast of the offensive that made the uh, Ukrainians cross the Oskil River at Izium, Liman, etc. in the Eastern Front. All of this was Sirsky's work, so he is going, he's going to replace uh, Salushny and with him there's going to be a competent and experienced general at replacing him. Now, what can we expect in the future when it comes to Ukraine's military? That is obviously the question. It's not going to just be a replacement of heads. At least that's likely that it's not going to be. So the Zelensky will have done that change to get some changes inside of the military as well. And there we should expect a more aggressive approach from the Ukrainian side. Probably a tougher and longer defense of positions under threat, like right now Avdivka. Under Sirsky, it is expected, or we can expect, that he'll probably pump in more troops, trying to keep uh, Avdivka longer in under Ukrainian control. Whereas it was said because of him husbanding the lives of his soldiers that, Sele that, that Salushny all three names with S, so a little confusing, that Salushny, the previous commander-in-chief, would have probably pulled back earlier, and it is said that he didn't want to defend Bakhmut, that it was Zelensky who insisted on this. So with the commander-in-chief now being Sirsky, we should expect more uh, consistent and insistent defense of positions like in Bakhmut and now in Avdivka. At the same time, um, we should uh, expect that uh, Zelensky is going to demand some successes as well, not just a longer a longer defense. We should expect attacks as well, and those attacks will probably be forceful, and they will try to achieve some visible successes, as this is what Zelensky needs, both domestic as well as international. And both those activities, the stronger defense as well as potential attacks that are more risky that risk the lives of uh, soldiers more and of equipment will probably or and most likely lead to higher casualties on the ukrainian side um the the for you for ukraine for Zelensky, it's important that he will be able to show success now not somewhere in the future as he needs to sh be able to show successes to keep the supply rolling into ukraine we've talked on this channel in the past that Right now, it's more or less feeling like the, the impression that is being made in the West is that they want to keep the front line stable, but that the real interest to push Russia out of Ukraine is lost if it was ever there. And there, Zelensky needs to urgently show some successes to encourage Western donators to say, okay, they can actually win this war. He needs something like the Kharkiv offensive, if possible. So more aid will come, and their Sirsky will likely come into play. Obviously, um, this will lead to more losses. Uh, Salushny is said to not have been willing to accept the losses that would have occurred if he had continued bigger attacks in Saporizhia. The NATO, NATO uh, 
did war games about this coming offensive that that happened then from june 2023 on and in those war games they estimated high ukrainian losses but in a, a breakthrough that would be achieved with those losses and then the ukrainians would just push on and get closer or even reach the Azov sea Salushny, on the other hand, was not willing to accept those losses. He was not willing to sacrifice hundreds of tanks, tens of thousands of soldiers that might have been necessary to break through, at least according to NATO planners. So he switched over to that small squad group uh, um, tactics where small units with the support of one or two armored vehicles would try to... to creep forward in the tree lines and while that had some success while the ukrainians reached um reached um uh, verbove with it while they captured and liberated uh, robotine with it it obviously didn't lead to a breakthrough and here we should expect that with sirski it's going to be something different that there will be stronger attacks and unfortunately for the Ukrainian soldiers, probably a higher casualty counts. This is at least what I think when we see the current change, when we talk about the characters of the two of them, uh, Zelensky will likely expect different tactics on the ground, and that is what we will likely see in the future. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. Leave your comment. What do you think uh, about this video? Do you think, do you agree with me or do you disagree? And if you're new here, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future videos. This channel is only possible because of the support of viewers like you. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by the means in the description. And that's it from me for now. Thank you for watching and I'll be back.